Welcome back to the channel. So I'm standing here because the light is perfect. Hi, Marley. Hi. My bed is a mess. Oh my God, I don't even wanna start on that. But it's Friday here. She's giggling at herself for some reason. Oh God, you're, you're crazy. So it's Friday, Addie just got on the bus. <laughs> Do y'all hear this? She's literally just sitting there laughing at me. Is my life a joke to you? Right. I think she makes fun of me like her dad. You guys know that we have a nine foot tree now. I'm gonna try to get through this without her giggling. And so I actually wanted to decorate a little different this year. Also another thing I'm gonna try to do is start painting in the living room because I just want the Christmas tree to kind of blend with the house decor and I just can't get it to blend with that burgundy paint. I will start painting this weekend probably, but also Addie's bed or her mattress will be delivered so I'll be able to finish up her room. We have decided to move the, tr the TV from Addison's room I'm sorry, from Mar Marley's room into Addison's room, uh, just because that one's a little bit bigger, so we probably will mount that one as well. So we have a lot of work to do this weekend. I wanna take you guys along with me today to finish picking out a bit of like Christmas decor. Justin and I started last night, we went to Hobby Lobby, found some really good stuff. Hobby Lobby has some really good items, and there's an item that I think I'm, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and buy this because I really, really want this and I'll show you guys in the video. Let me get out of here and head out. I'm so excited to go Christmas shopping this weekend. So, let's go.
What are you doing? You see the light? So yeah, we are about to get this mattress in her room and get her all set up. So let's go. Alright you guys, welcome to the haul portion of the video. I have so many really cute items that I have snagged this holiday season. I'm kind of shifting from doing the traditional decor for the holidays, even more with the paint, the new paint colors that we have chosen for the living room. I think this idea will pop. You guys will see all of the new stuff that I've purchased for the tree very very soon you guys know we put up our tree every thanksgiving night so really excited to share with you guys the new decor that i have for my tree oh i'm so excited but i am here to share with you the stuff that i have purchased or that i have found for the holiday season very little done very little done i will say that so let's hop into everything all right the very first item i found was this adorable little gingerbread picture here it just says mary on the bottom i scored this at my goals for actually i got it 40 percent off it's originally 14.99 but i got it for 40 percent off and it's almost like a 3D picture with the cutest little gingerbread on that. Look at that. So, so, so cute. I had to grab this for the gingerbread hut. They had two other, um, like, pictures. I think it was like a bell and a star maybe. Don't quote me. I did post that on my Instagram story. So, if you're not following my Instagram, I post all of my lines there. Make sure you guys are following me. My Instagram is right here. I'm so excited to see the actual collection that Michaels has because Michaels Michaels has some of the best holiday collection Michaels is my store my go-to store for anything holiday so so excited to see what they have next two items I eyeballed the heck out of them when I saw them the first time but I said uh I don't need it but I do want to do like a peppermint theme maybe next year and when I got out of the store I was like I should have bought those but I had to go to work and I was like by the time that I get off work they're gonna be gone I actually came back after work and they were gone but I found these two literally at the register one day at my local home goods these were $4.99 a piece and it's just the sugar and cream set here I want to say these were last year's items that were really hot I don't I don't don't quote me the only thing I hate is like the gold trim uh, not a fan of that. I would much rather that had been black. But nonetheless, really, really cute. Try to incorporate that into my holiday decor. But next year, I'm definitely doing a peppermint theme. And these are going to be my babies for next year. Next, I grab. So excited about this. Quick little story behind this. Mel, my girl from Instagram. This is her Instagram here. Make sure you go follow her. Sent me a DM. I was like, girl, have you seen the mugs? from uh Kohl's and I was like excuse me yeah they got gingerbread mugs I know that you're doing a whole gingerbread hush this year check these out these are I think these will be perfect when she sent me that picture y'all I was like girl I need them so I went to I went to my Kohl's to look for them because I got online first and it said that they had them in the store and I was like well I'll just order them from the store and get them shipped to my house scratch that I want to go look at them and see how beautiful they are in person got to my local Lowe's all they had were the salt and pepper shakers I don't even know if I showed those to you guys in a haul but it said that they had these in stock and so I went to customer service hey pulled up the picture can you guys show me where these are nobody could find it ordered it it came in like four days look how cute this little baby is Thank you again, Mel, for recommending those two items to me. Oh, this is why I love the Dunn community. Everybody's so freaking stinking helpful, and I love it. I also grabbed this little um, cheerleading squad of, I don't know, it just reminds me of cheerleaders, of gingerbread men. I don't know, this one just was really cute. $9.99 from At Home. Next, I grabbed this Made With Love Fresh Daily Gingerbread Bakery. Cakes, cookies, and pies. So cute. 
just a filler piece. This was $4.99 at 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Also picked up another item that I want to use a little bit this year for the gingerbread hutch. Definitely for next year with the peppermint theme. So cute. I'm getting washed out because of these. But they're just little trees here. And they have actual peppermint on the top. So cute. These both were $9.99 from TJ Maxx. So Justin and I were in Hobby Lobby with a girl shopping for the new Christmas tree decor and I went down the uh, like the what would you call that out it had all of the neutral tones the naturals and a, a few black and white pieces and I saw this one thing that caught my eye and it's totally my style I would probably use this um, right after Christmas for like winter decor and I looked at the price and it said $79 so I was like, uh, we're doing 50% off. That's still $40. And so I looked at Justin and I was like, babe, I really love this, but I do not want to pay $40 for it. And he was like, yeah, let's not do that. So I went back and I got it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. It's just a, it's like a glass house and it has the um, pipe cleaner trees in it I don't, I don't want the glare from the lights to it's so cute right so 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 cute stupid expensive I feel like I could have made something like this so I just said I'm biting the bullet and I'm gonna go ahead and buy this do not regret it one bit I do not regret it one bit this is perfect you could use this for Christmas I am going to incorporate it into my living room decor for Christmas. It goes perfect with the thing. Honestly, honestly, be be real with me, girl. Would you have spent forty dollars on this? Cause I did. Absolutely. The next item I grabbed was this cute little gingerbread man with the candy cane in his hand. This was $7.99 at 50% off from Hobby Lobby. This was from home, no, at home for $5.99. Last little small item was just another little filler piece I got from Hobby Lobby. This was $12.99 at 50% off, really cute. The next item I purchased was, a, was an item for Addison's room, you guys know. I did her a pink tree last year just to go with her decor. I'm not a huge fan of the pink because it just doesn't fit my style, but the girls that are doing the pink, they are knocking it out the park. They're doing pink trees, pink rooms. I am loving it all. It's not for me, but girl, y'all are rocking. I found this, and girl, this, okay, the camera's, the camera is doing it justice. This tree I got from TJ Maxx, they, I, I couldn't pass it up. Like, I was scanning all the Christmas stuff and then my eyes locked on this one and I was like, I don't have anything pink nothing pink but I want to buy that so I was like oh god Addison's room for Christmas is usually pink this was $19.99 again from TJ Maxx I only wish that they had this in like a smaller size it does light up Molly's been playing with it so I don't need girl I don't even know if it's lighting up right now because Marley when Marley gets a hold of something it's good and broken <laughs> the next item I grabbed was another item from Ross it is just another gingerbread house this one was really tiny and cute, only $7.99 from Ross. I also picked up this, oh, I had it backwards. This little gingerbread train here. So cute, look at the little detailing on it. So cute. This one was a little expensive, $29 from At Home. Another item I picked up was this cute little Santa that has the gingerbread in his hand. Now I initially found one from um, at home and that one was like $25, but it was it was like three times the size of this. And I, I loved it because it did have a little gingerbread man in his hand, but he was just way too big. Like I would probably have to set him on the top of the hutch and I initially had an idea for the top of the hutch. So I was in Hobby Lobby looking for paint and I ran across this little buddy here. He has the little candy canes in it. I didn't just notice that. This was $24.99, but you guys know everything um, at Hobby Lobby is, everything Christmas is 50% off. So, grabbed him. 
Next item that I grabbed was this extremely lightweight canister. I got this from Home Goods for $12.99. And I loved it because I am a huge fan of uh, mixing the greens with everything. Black Hutch in the living room is gonna be done a lot different this year. Oh my God, like I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But I wanted to grab this one solely for that and it just has, I didn't notice it, but it's a mixture of like pink in there with it. I, I didn't think it was pink, I actually thought it was white. But this is much lighter than <laughs> the Ray Dunn canisters. I actually did a little setup here with um, one of the green canisters just to, to see what it looked like paired with the green done and it was perfect. So excited that I grabbed this one. So, so, so cute. All right, the last item that I picked up. Oh God, I'm so excited about this. So I'm standing in Home Goods, and there's a lady standing in front of me. So I took a picture of this item, posted it on my Instagram, stood there for a second, picked it up again, and I said, this is really, really cute. So I put it down, stared at it for another 30 seconds, finally picked it up again, and the lady was like, girl, get that. You, you can't seem to put it down. Please purchase it because you're gonna get home and you're gonna regret not getting it. I was like, Jesus, that was the sign. Look, I'm gonna just give you a second to just look at it. This is the most gorgeous gingerbread house I've seen in a long time. This one lights up. This was another $29.99 item. I couldn't pass this one. Oh my God, this is perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys how I'm gonna pair this with the decor. So absolutely stay tuned to that. Alrighty, let's hop into the Ray Dunn. The very first item I scored was this Mary canister here. Again, these were items that I saw all the time. Hunting in 2019, I passed them up so many times. I had to get this one. I do have a cute little idea that I want to um, kind of showcase this with. I don't know if it's gonna be this Christmas. Um, a lot of the items that I get, I don't necessarily get to display them all at one time. Like I like to kind of map out and plan out what I wanna do with my decor. So that's the thing about hunting. Um, even if you don't think you'll use it for this year, I would say still just kind of snag it because you never know what idea you might come up with in the middle of the year and go, God, that idea or that item that I had in my hands would have been perfect. So that's how I am now, girl. I just grab it because I think, and I'm not saying necess necessarily everything. You never know what ideas will pop in your head. So next done item that I also snagged was the Merry Christmas. I did not realize this was a, like a matte finish. Um, but I do have the um, glaze, spray paint that you can spray over um, this. I may do that this year because I'm, I'm really not a big fan of the matte. I had to have a chubby Merry Christmas just like I had to have a chubby Happy Halloween. So I do have the that one. These last two items were, oh, oh my God, must have this year. Glad I was able to get my hand on this one, this is the Blue Snow Day Mug. Not a big fan of the blue, girl. I'm pretty sure I will convert this to either a red mug or a red topper, um, but I had to have my Snow Day Mug. Uh, this was one that I really wanted last year and I had to grab it this year. All right, you guys, this last item was another item that I really, really, really wanted to score last year and I missed it by like 10 minutes. <laughs> But my girl Ashley always comes through. Always comes through. She scored me a snow day, baby. So, so, so happy to have this one. $16.99 from Marshalls. And the crazy thing about it is, uh, we were talking one morning at opening. Sorry, I had lipstick on my teeth. We were talking 
and I told her that the other group of donors had pretty much found all of the snow day canisters. I think they would only come in four. In our area, girl, we only see either a set of two or a set of four. And so I was telling her, I think all of them were found in the area that is closest to me. You know what? I got at least two stores that I can hit before work every morning. So I'll be on the hunt hard. And she was just like, okay, okay, cool. And I don't know if it was the next day or later on that day, but she sent me a picture and she was just like, this one that's let you know, I got this for ya. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Like, oh my God. Like it, y'all. I keep harping on this. I keep saying it. I keep harping on it. But you, you gotta be you gotta be a good person. You gotta do people right. You gotta do right by others. And stuff will just literally fall in your lap. But that concludes this haul. I'm so excited to start decorating for the holiday season. I've noticed that a lot of you guys have go, y'all went from Halloween straight to Christmas, which I girl more power to you, but I do have a lot of like fall and Thanksgiving pieces that I do like to enjoy. I didn't skip fall and Thanksgiving, um, but I'm so excited to hop into decorating for Christmas. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.